Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here, continuing. Let's cook up this NBA action, man. Y'all know we do around the jam session. We cook up every single game, every single day, man. Yesterday, we dropped our NBA player of the day, man. The Magic did us so dirty, man. They did us so dirty. They looked really good first half, and then second half, they just fell apart, man. Wagner. Either one of them didn't show up. Jalen Suggs didn't show up. Only person that came to hoop second half was Paolo Bancaro, and he just wasn't enough. Donovan Mitchell and company got it done. Move on. They go on to face the Boston Celtics to the Orlando Magic. Adios, amigos, man. Shout out to y'all boys, though, man. We made a ton of money with y'all boys this season. Shout out to the best ATS team in the NBA. The Orlando Magic, man, made us plenty of money this season. See y'all boys again next year. Hey, we got two more games today, though. Money making Monday. New week, new goals, new opportunities, man. And y'all know the drill. We finna cook it up and try to smash it per usual. I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that continue to tune in and watch this video. If you appreciate the content that I do, all I ask is that you smash the like button for me. You subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as I always say, man, if you're rocking with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter all day long. There's a link for that in the description below. And, of course, I have premium plays over at the site. Money making Monday. Let's get back on track today after two back-to-back -back L's on the Magic. And who we have today before that? We have Who did I have two days ago? <laughs> That's who it was. We'll talk about them here in a second. Bounce back down on Monday for real, for real. Without further ado, man, let's hop right into tonight's NBA action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get her done. First game up, we got the Indiana Pacers out on the road facing the New York Knicks. Knicks favored by five and a half here in game one. I think this is a tough game one, honestly. I really, really do. I think this is a tough series. Um... I think a lot of people think the Knicks are going to wipe the floor with the Pacers. I do not think that at all. I think a lot of people think the Pacers got lucky due to the injuries to Milwaukee last round and that the Pacers don't even deserve to be here currently. I think they are dead wrong. I think had Milwaukee been healthy, the Pacers probably would have beat them anyway. I really believe that. I think the Pacers match up really well with the New York Knicks, man. I think this is a 50-50 series. I think this game one is a 50-50 game. So with that being said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the Indiana Pacers straight up on the money line is how I'm playing game one here. The Knicks coming off a pretty gruesome series, grueling series with the Philadelphia 76ers. A very, very, very physical series, man. Um, competitive series as well. I know they won it in six, but... They only ended up outscoring Philadelphia by one point for the entirety of the series. So that just lets you know how competitive and how close basically every single game was. Playoff experience. You know, the Pacers don't have a ton. They do have Pascal Siakam, who has a ring, who won that ring uh, in Toronto. The Knicks have OG Ananobi, who won that same ring in Toronto with Siakam and Kawhi Leonard. And um, Brunson for the... Knicks, he's been to the Western Conference Finals with the Mavs. I'm on the Pacers, man. I'm on the Pacers. I think they have a legitimate shot to win this game outright. I think the Pacers are being severely disrespected here. The Pacers are a really good basketball team. We saw that when these two teams went head-to-head -head this season. Um, they didn't exert as much energy in their last series as the Knicks did. This is probably going to be a six or seven game series. And I would not be surprised at all to see Indiana win this game outright. I believe 100% this is a 50-50 game and all the values on Indiana. I really, really do. I do not see the Knicks as head and shoulders the better basketball team. I could really make the argument that the Pacers are the better basketball team. I know Halliburton listed his game time decision. Nine times out of ten, he's playing, or at least that's how I see it. There's no way he's missing this game. I think if he, when he plays, I think him and the Pacers will be able to push the pace. 
I don't think that the Knicks defense is quite as good as Milwaukee was was defense. You know, Milwaukee was really applying pressure to Halliburton, kind of trying to take the ball out of his hands. I'm not sure if the Knicks are going to be able to replicate those same things. Um, they're probably going to try throw OG on him, but we'll see. OG might be on Siakam for some time. We'll see. It's game one. I want to see how this series plays out. I really, really do. I think game one, we're going to learn a lot of information here in this series, here in this game. 50-50 game. I'm attacking the plus money. I see the Pacers winning this game outright to kick off the series. Give me Indiana here in our first game of the day. And in our second and final game of the night, we have game two between the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Denver Chicken Nuggets. Denver laying five and a half here in game one. We saw the Timberwolves win outright in game one over the Denver Nuggets as four and a half point road dogs. They got the Nuggets now. After losing game one, they upped the line to five and a half. I understand why. First off, the Nuggets go stupid, dummy, crazy at home at the crib. We can't forget that. We cannot forget that. I know they lost game one. I know the Timberwolves look good in that game. But that doesn't take away from what the Nuggets are and what they have been over the last two seasons. They are still the defending NBA champions. They are still 36-9 and this season at home at the crib. They're 20-6 and last two seasons straight up in the postseason with their back up against the wall in this game. Looking to avoid falling down 0-2, heading to Minnesota. I expect the Nuggets to come out here and go stupid, dummy, crazy at home at the crib. In all honesty, I see this as a double-digit win for the Denver Chicken Nuggets. Um, T-Wolves did what they were supposed to do. They came and punched them in the mouth early. I think here they fall flat. I really, really do. I think this is going to be a slobber knocker style series as well, probably going 6 or 7. I personally still think the Nuggets are the better team. I personally still think the Nuggets win the series. Um, we remember, the Nuggets beat these boys up 4-1 last year in the postseason. They dominated game one and won by 29 points, I believe, last year in game one and won by nine in game two um, to start the series. So I trust the Nuggets at home. I've trusted the Nuggets at home the last couple seasons. It's hard for me not to see it that way. Um, I think game one ultimately came down to Denver having two really bad stretches of basketball. One to start the game and one to end the game. I think if they avoid those, they win this game comfortably because I felt like middle of the game, they really controlled it. Um, Timberwolves just played well to close. I think Denver gets off tonight offensively. Um, that's going to be the, that's the main key in this series. Does the Timberwolves defense hold the Denver Nuggets under 100 points? Tonight, I don't see that happening. I know they did last game, and they was able to get themselves a win. That's been their formula when they've played Denver this season. Hold them under 100, and we give our chance ourselves the best chance to win. But offensively tonight, I think Denver is hitting. I think Murray has a really nice game. I see Michael Porter Jr. hitting his shots. Jokic, we know what we're going to get from the best player on the planet. I'm on the Denver Chicken Nuggets, man, tonight as they go stupid, dummy, crazy at home at the crib. I'll lay the points, and I think they tie this thing up 1-1, heading to Minnesota. And that's going to conclude this episode of my NBA Jam Session. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that continue to tune in and watch this video. If you appreciate the content that I do, all I ask is that you smash that like button for me. You subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, say, man, if you're rocking with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter. All day long, there's a link for that in the description below. And, of course, I have premium plays over at the site. Money Making Monday. Let's cook it up per usual, man. Let's smash the books per usual. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs. Man, I'm out of here. Peace.